Everybody, it's Michelle here again with Birthy Hoover. Here at Birthy Hoover, I am a full spectrum plant based holistic doula and an advocate for all things safe, natural, and effective. Here on this channel, we discuss all things birth, pregnancy, and womb health related. So, if you guys like the content, you love to hear on the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Today, we are going to be talking about some, a few of the important minerals that your body needs um, in pregnancy, before pregnancy. Um, and let's just get into it. So, the first and most important um the vital uh, mineral that we need is iron folate so that and uh this mineral i discussed in a different video when comparing it to folic acid but for this case we're just talking about why it's important for the body right so this mineral um, iron folate is to um build your blood because obviously you have to have enough blood for your body and enough blood to build your baby's body. You also need to be able to ox oxygenate your cells, uh, which is how um, iron steps into play because iron helps the blood um, consume oxygen and get that oxygen to your cells. And then this is also good for the placenta um and a plethora of other things and avoiding um certain birth defects right so we need that we don't want to be deficient in iron because that's going to cause us to really deplete ourselves right um so the way we are going to get iron or some of the ways that we can get iron is by simply one drinking enough water right so that the body can um move around these minerals and hormones and things that have to go into play when you are consuming food right but certain foods that we're going to take to get there is dark green leafy vegetables so that's stuff like kale um swiss chard um arugula things like that right um hemp seeds is good for uh iron intake cherries now this is something that most people don't think about when you look at cherries when you bite into a cherry right that dark red color that looks like blood right so that's going to be great for your blood so you definitely want to get those cherries in there um and certain herbs like red raspberry leaf um dandelion and uh um there's there's oh sarsaparilla i know so, certain people are skeptical about taking sarsaparilla during pregnancy but you definitely can load up on that before pregnancy um if you are planning to be pregnant um so that your body can have adequate amount of iron so that when you get pregnant you're not you know taken away from you to give everything to the baby and so these are certain um herbs be careful with herbs i always say this just make sure you don't have any other issues that will counteract with these herbs um, but for the most part these are pretty um safe herbs for what i'm talking about um, the next one is going to be calcium, right? So calcium is good for the bones, keeping the bones strong, building the bones for the baby. Um, you know, when you see those women, they're pregnant and the teeth in the back start to crack and crumble and they lose uh, hair. Um, this is because you are lacking calcium. So if you're pregnant, your baby is going to get what the baby needs, correct? Right. Um, if you are giving everything the baby needs and you're not getting enough for yourself, it's going to start to show. You're going to be aching. Your teeth are going to be brittle. Um, all of these things are going to go on, right? Um, and then you'll be more uh, vulnerable for breaks um, and injuries. So you definitely want to get that calcium in there, right? So we can do calcium by eating things like sesame seeds, um, chickpeas, um, I think hemp seeds also has an adequate amount of calcium in it too. But if you, again, there are certain herbs, if you are deficient, definitely build your understanding about how to use herbs and things like that for the sake of being tip top in pregnancy, right? Um, so now we have magne uh, magnesium, sorry, magnesium, right? Um, so magnesium avoids uh, things like um, morning sickness, 
a lot of times we see like, oh, morning sickness, morning sickness is a normal part of pregnancy. It's a symptom. I talked about this before too. It is not normal for you to just be sick every single morning or whenever you smell food. It's not normal. The body does not punish you. You are experiencing morning sickness because you are deficient and things like magnesium right so you need this magnesium to avoid things like um brain fog like you know oh i got the mommy brain i can't remember what i what i put down 10 seconds ago right so that avoids that it uh helps with insomnia um and also aches and pains and again remember that morning sickness is that's a major one right so we want to have that magnesium in our body so we do eat things like swiss chard um sesame seeds wild rice um hemp seeds is also i love hemp seeds hemp seeds is like a powerhouse for so much different stuff right um, and then there's also herbs that you can use to bring in mag magnesium to your body right vitamin c be careful with vitamin c because large amounts of vitamin c can be abortive fashion so especially in the early parts of pregnancy you don't want to be loading up on vitamin c but vitamin c is important to absorb iron without vitamin c you cannot get the proper absorption of the iron so things like um key lime uh oranges um watermelon any kind of citrus type of fruit um with a little acid in it is going to be a uh, good I, I don't i don't advocate for i don't ever tell women to eat things like pineapple it's too acidic um but those kind of things or uh and i know people like grapefruit but grapefruit is also kind of productive for like insulin resistance so if you have um diabetic problems you want to be careful with that kind of stuff too but just stick to your main oranges limes things like that um when you're absorbing or ginger be careful with ginger too uh but those are the vitamin c's that you can like pair with your iron so that your body is able to absorb it right right um so iodine is also a really good mineral that you need um for pregnancy and you can really pretty much focus on sea vegetables um and they all have really crazy names so just look up sea vegetables and you can see like the ones that you can eat um i know sea moss is one that a lot a popular one that a lot of people know but uh there are so many different sea vegetables that you can eat uh, but they're all like weird names and I don't feel like trying to go through saying those things. But sea vegetables is really good for iron. Um, and then also our honorable mention is zinc. We need that, right? So zinc is actually an important herb even before pregnancy because it is um, helpful for ovulation. Um, but yeah, you definitely need to get zinc in there to um, optimize organ development and organ protection. Um, a lot of times we see things like, um, you know, uh, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, things that happen in the body because our organs are struggling because we're depleted and the baby is pulling, pulling, pulling everything they could possibly pull because there is this little cell trying to form this entire body, right? So they need a lot of energy. They need a lot of minerals. They need a lot of, of, of your blood work. They need a lot of your your everything to form them so you need to make sure you are tip top and caring for yourself because if you care for yourself then that means you're caring for your baby right so yeah so make sure you get all of those minerals in and of course there's so many other things that the body needs but if you are eating a balanced diet that is colorful and fruitful then you should be fine it's 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 really a matter of choosing to um, eat well right so that's my take on vitamins and minerals and things that you need to keep your body up and running well and having uh, the best possible pregnancy that you could possibly have. So again, my name is Michelle. I am a full spectrum holistic doula with Birthy Hoover. If you guys have any questions um, or topics that you would like me to talk about that I haven't already talked about, please reach out to us at birthyhoover at gmail.com. I will see you guys for the next video. Peace and pregnancy deaths.